few days away from 15 weeks pregnant and I kid you not I'm going through it and today's challenge was changing the duvet on my bed the duvet cover and I just had to decide that I'm gonna put the duvet on without putting the insert inside of the cover because I just simply cannot it is too much of a chore and even changing the linen without putting the duvet insert inside of the cover was such a chore that I'm just like Oh my gosh, how do people do all of these normal things while they're pregnant? Keep in mind, yes, I do have a daughter. That was almost thir that was 13 years ago this year, okay? So I don't remember having all of these challenges. And I'm not even that far along. And it's just like, I feel like I can't win. I don't know. Anyways, 15 weeks of baby. Barely showing, but 50 weeks. This is what we're working with. The way how you have to pee all the time is a little bit preposterous. As in, I literally just left the bathroom and I have to pee again. And this morning I realized that I peed and then I sat there for a little bit and I peed again. This is ridiculous. Luckily everybody at my job, well not everybody, the night shift, which is my shift, oh, they're aware. And so because they are aware, I can go to the bathroom whenever I want this out of breath. I thought it went away, but apparently it's here to stay. So we're experiencing that. But that's that's all to update right now. 15 weeks and I'm so stressed because I started looking at car seats and strollers from very early because I know that, that is something that you wanna make sure that it's safe for your baby. And so people spend a lot of time doing their research on such and I'm telling you, I'm literally so stressed. I've watched so many videos on TikTok of parents showing their reviews of how easy it is to Put it together and take it apart and close down the stroller and take off the car seat because originally i really like the duna but realistically it's not going to last that long and i'm not going to spend money on something that is only going to last baby a couple of months and then i may not have to get something else i like spending smart and to me that's not smart even though the stroller is very convenient and i really really like it because it's just one thing and i have a lot of time which i'm so glad that i started doing my research so early but oh my gosh i did not expect for it to be such a chore i mean honestly at this point in pregnancy everything is a chore and i know that as i get bigger everything is gonna become more of a chore but oh my god it takes so much time and just because you want to make sure that your baby is safe so much that my registry is almost done already i'm just in the stages of like adding little things here and there and like taking things away i do not know the gender yet so everything on the registry so far is gender neutral, which I think is good because when it's time to donate, then, you know, you could donate it to anybody. Anybody will be able to use it for the baby because it's not gender specific. So there is that. But the car seat and the stroller is giving me the warmest time. Oh, I need to figure it out. But I'm extending, I'm extending some grace to myself because I know that I still have a little bit of time. But yeah, such a chore. Start from early. 16 weeks today looks a little bit smaller because i currently have covid and i'm pretty sure for like the last four days i've lost some weight when i tell you this has been a struggle i literally have not been able to eat very much at all if anything fruits gatorade water the vitamins and supplements i just remembered that i have to get my vitamins too but i have been going through it i've still felt baby moving um periodically throughout the day when i'm awake which i'm so grateful for but right now i feel a little bit dizzy but that's probably because i was standing up and like making breakfast for like just the fruits and everything for so long i just feel a little bit dizzy but this week's update i don't know what it would have been had i not um had covid obviously shortness of breath frequent urination i'm feeling like a little sticking pain here every now and then it's nothing alarming um yeah i feel wiped out everything i do a couple of days ago i felt dizzy as well this is the first time i felt it again since so i'm gonna lay down and try to like oh my goodness just take it easy we just made it to 
17 weeks, but we're not that big because we've been sick for the last maybe 15 days. So baby is a little right now. This looks like just a regular food baby, but it's not. It's a real baby. Definitely brought this top back again. Tomorrow, we're going to be 19 weeks. And today, I'm going to find out the gender of my baby. Final guesses. I'm going to just go with a boy because at 12 weeks, the ultrasound lady said it looked like a boy. And so we're going to just work with that just based off of that information. But if we were going with what I feel like is growing inside of me, I think it's a girl. But I might be biased because I already have a girl. But we're going to have to see. I feel a huge yet another update 22 weeks almost 23 weeks and this is what baby is looking like at first i started doing them in this dress and then i changed to just the most random thing that i was wearing whenever i switched over to a new week or whatever the case is but i feel like right now it makes sense to go back to this dress this is how she looks kind of big but still kind of small i don't really know what am i experiencing my lips are extremely dry Always, always have to pee. I'm at the point where I'm waking up out of my sleep so that I can go pee. I, the little pain right here is back. I'm able to see her moving on the surface, especially when I'm laying on my back. She's very active. I'm always very thirsty. The hospital ice is hitting because obviously I work at a hospital. But like at nights, I feel like inside of me is so dry and so parched. I drink so much water at night and I'm obsessed with popsicles. When I sit to eat a popsicle, I could eat a few. <laughs> so freaking obsessed with popsicles. All I want to do is sleep. I'm tired. I feel like I'm at this stage where I'm walking like a penguin. I'm waddling. I get so excited about this. Oh, this flavor. My boobs feel huge. I feel like I've officially ditched the regular bras that I've had and I'm now wearing a sports bra, definitely showing the shortness of breath when I have to talk about anything. I'm so emotional. I feel very isolated and like alone. Um, I think because the friends that I do have, um, just one is pregnant, she lives far and I just feel like I had a life before pregnancy and now. I don't really do anything, I just sleep. But, um, yeah. This is what we're looking like at 22 weeks. She's getting there, we're getting there. Um, The registry is done. I have a lot of clothes for her, maybe all she will need for right now. I need to start setting things up in her room. I have stuff in there, but I just haven't started setting anything up yet. But for the most part, that is what 22 weeks is like. I'm very forgetful. I can't remember anything. Mom brain is in clutch. Very real. But um, that's all I can remember at the moment. She's very active at nights and in the mornings. Like I said, especially when I'm laying on my back. But um, yeah, 22 weeks of growing baby R. I don't know what I'm going to call her yet. But for now, she is my little bunny rabbit. Right? Trying to bother her, but she won't move. I mean, we're gonna enjoy a popsicle on my bed for a little bit. 23 weeks this week, and boy, am I going through it. I realize that I'm very, very emotional. Like, we're jumping into six months, but the emotions are at an absolute all time high. And I can't even tell. I mean, obviously, there, there's a lot going on in her body, but like, at an absolute all time high. I have started getting baby's room together just based on like the decor aspect and like organizing the drawers and things like that. So I'm very excited about that. And then um, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm big. I was looking at a video that I took last night when I was ready for work and I look big. As in like baby looks big, like she's showing. This week I have a few appointments, I think two. The following week I might not have any and then the week after I have two. So that's great. I can barely breathe. I'm lazy with my hair, but I've always been lazy with my hair. So let's not even blame this on her. 
But um, I love that my skin looks really good, because especially my face. Because when my face looks crazy, I feel down in the dumps. I feel like I'm in the gutter. But little girl is growing. I'm going to a dental appointment. I think it's the first time wearing this shirt. Or maybe the second time. But the girl is growing and glowing. I have my hair in this sort of hat because it looks shitty. As you can tell. Naturally, what would have been a good... 15 minute walk. I can't do that anymore because it's cutting it too close to the time. This is what she's looking like. Okay, gotta go. Toodle. 24 weeks. This is what a girl looks like. She looks like a big watermelon. I have my fetal echo appointment today because at 20 weeks, she wasn't showing them all of her heart. At 22 weeks, she still wasn't showing them all of her heart. And now, she wants us to FaceTime again, so we're going to go FaceTime. That's how we're thinking about it. I bought this um, big shirt at like D2. It's so comfortable and I'm just, I love it because now I need comfortable things that I can wear. So it's either I'm going to buy things like this or I'm going to wear his stuff. And it's not really going too good. So yeah, we're wearing this and these pants that are easy to pull down for them to do the thing. I'm like put back up super comfortable but the girl has popped and she's she's there what am i experiencing this week I'm trying to suck a breath I have to pee all the time sometimes i literally have to run because if i don't i feel like i'm gonna wet myself wherever i am she's not joking um i'm eating more at nights because we want to put a little bit of weight on her because i'm obsessed with popsicles still so i'm gonna eat one of those before i leave a lot of aches and pains here and there. Oh, her kicks are huge. She feels like she's fighting back. It feels like I did something to her and she's very upset and she's fighting back. Now I'm so uncomfortable in every position, like especially if I'm like sitting down and if she's uncomfortable, she's gonna let you know. She starts kicking bad. So I have to readjust myself. But um, for the most part, this is what a girl is looking like. I feel really good. Um, outside of like being out of breath and like minor pregnancy, everything like I feel fine. And I know that I may be considered one of God's favorites, and I'm so so grateful. But yeah, we're 26 weeks, she's in there today. Is glucose test day? I just drank the glucose drink, and it was actually kind of good. Like, I could drink another one, <laughs> god. I see that I'm one of your favorites in this moment. <sighs> like you here. And um, yeah. So, ready to go. She's looking cute. She's definitely popped out within the last week or so. And everybody at my job has been seeing the very same thing. That she's definitely popped. She's here and in full swing. Literally have to be in the bathroom the whole time. Every 10 minutes tops. Very, very emotional. Very, very emotional. The most emotional I've been in my entire life. My clothes barely fit. My new outfit is leggings and an oversized shirt to anything that I have to go to. Obviously, the moment I start talking, I'm gasping for my breath as if I've been running a marathon. I feel like I'm eating smaller portions because, of course, she's growing so much and, like, everything is scrunched up and, like, scrunched to the sides and, you know what I mean? So, like, I feel like I've been eating smaller portions but i could eat a little bit more often even though i do eat smaller portions i've had a heartburn two times i literally thought that i was gonna die because prior to this i had never experienced heartburn a day in my life and i really just thought i'm having a heart attack and i need to figure out who i'm gonna call what's gonna happen to my other daughter going through every single stage of emotion i'll tell you what else um she moves a lot and I'm so grateful that she does. But at this point, because she's so big, sometimes the movements are, I don't want to say painful, but what do I want to say instead of painful? I don't really know. Maybe we'll go with painful. I did my glucose test and came back 137, so slightly elevated. So tomorrow I have to go back and do the three hour one, which I'm not very thrilled about, but I have to go and get it done. And so I have to fast tonight. So essentially I had to call out for more because I can't be at work fasting i'm always starving when i'm at work so i just called out sometimes when i'm getting up off of the bed like i feel my lower back hurting 
now I have to make small controlled movements if I'm like trying to get up. I turn on my side slowly. My left side is the most comfortable. I turn on my side slowly. And then I take my time and I come off of the bed because as you guys know it, you must have seen my video before, my bed is a little bit high, so there's that. 14 weeks to go and I cannot even fathom the thought that my baby is gonna be here in 14 weeks. That's no time. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like outside of being out of breath, kind of eating up this pregnancy, my lips look like I have lip fillers. Juicy and voluptuous. I know it's a little swollen, but it doesn't matter. But outside of that, I really feel like I'm eating up this pregnancy. We are seven months. This is what she looks like. We're currently ready to go on a night shift. A little out of breath. That's nothing we can't handle. I feel like if it wasn't for a few hard parts, I could do this 10 more times. It was not bad. It has not been bad. She is thriving. And my hair is done, so I look cute, so can't talk to me. Thank you.